Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Uh, hopefully you're finding some of my video uh, informative, interesting, and hopefully helpful as you collect coins from around the world and the U.S. Uh, one of my videos uh, earlier that I uploaded, I mentioned that uh, I am sending coins to NGC to get certified. So it uh, looks like what we have here basically is the return of those coins from NGC. It took a little bit of time, but we finally uh, got the coins. So what I'm going to do is going to go through these coins here and see what kind of a grading I got uh, on all the coins that I submitted to NGC. Uh, this process took a little bit of time. I was hoping it would take maybe, you know, a couple of weeks, but it uh, pretty much went out to about two months due to the heavy volume uh, that NGC is going through on and certifying coins. So their backlog is large. So waiting for it is something that you'll have to, uh, I guess, be patient with, okay? So now we got these coins back. So I'm gonna open it uh, today and take a look of kind of what kind of grading we got on these coins. And then we'll talk about, you know, uh, what I expected and what I got and of course, uh, the purpose of sending it to NGC is uh, 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 questions on that too. Why do I send coins to NGC to get graded? Uh, so let's go ahead and open uh, this box and see what we got here, okay? So let's go ahead and open it up. Here we got, looks like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Of course, they put the invoice here, okay, to uh, see what we've got here. And, of course, this invoice will tell me, you know, the coins that I sent out. And, of course, my cost, okay. So, we'll take a look at what I've got here, okay. So, uh, so hopefully these coins... Uh, I got some good grades that will put them on uh, eBay or for my clientele on my website. And hopefully, uh, you know, I will have some interest on these coins. These to me are pretty much some rare coins. So these should, uh, you know, they should bring some interest, especially since they are now certified as genuine by NGC. And of course, it has a third party grading is guaranteed by NGC, okay? So we'll take a look at the first coin. So let's take a look at the coin here. And uh, what we have here is a Ireland 1961 uh, mule, okay? So this one here was graded 61. So this is very good because uh, the Ireland 1961 is a rare key date, vintage of only like 50,000 coins. The majority of these coins were basically circulated till it was discovered later on. And of course, by the time they discovered it, the majority of these coins were distributed, used, worn down. So only a very few coins have has met the MS-60 or better grade. So this one here came back as a 61. So if this was sold as raw, uh, maybe you could pick up a couple hundred dollars for the coin. But now since it's certified and has an MS-61 grade, and I think the grade along by itself is kind of conservative in the grading, I think uh, this one here is a very nice premium coin with no problem. And of course, uh, on this particular coin, uh, the horse definitely, uh, when we say this is a mule, the others of this coin, which is the horse, were from dies from 1928 till 19, I think 34. Uh, so these are the early dies that started in 1928 and somehow got mixed up and used with a, with a die reverse of 1961. 
So the obverse of the normal 61 and the mule are completely different, okay? Because the two base, the base on the number two is longer, the D is open, uh, the I on Corian is curved, uh, the tail has more hair, and of course the PM on the rear hoof is more to the left of the hoof. Those are the indica indicators of a mule coin. So this one here should uh, bring a premium now that it is certified MS61 by uh, NGC. So this one here should uh, get a good uh, return since it has been graded. So grading uh, it has a benefit for not just for the dealer, it also has a benefit for the collector. It gives them a, a peace of mind that the coin is genuine, it is certified, it is third party graded, and of course NGC guarantees their grade. Now just remember that NGC, when they grade expensive coins, they are very strict on their grading. So if they tend to overgrade, uh, they, it could cost them, uh, you know, uh, their guarantee, especially if it's regraded and it comes back at a lower grade. So they want to be conservative in their grading. So if they grade this thing 65 and it is not a 65, they would probably be paying the difference between a 61 grade and a 65 grade. And that could be a lot of money depending on the value of the coin and what the spread is, okay? So this one here is a very nice coin. So there's only a few in MS60 or better. So the population in this particular coin is extremely low and highly in demand in this particular grade. So this one here turned out pretty good. I was hoping to get at least a 63, but I guess a 61 is more than uh, sufficient for me. Uh, at least it came back as Mint State 61. Uh, the next coin we have is uh, the key date for Canada. This is a 1948 dollar in graded NGC MS62. So this is a very nice dollar. And of course, uh, this is the key date. It has a mintage of around 18,000 coins, so it has the lowest mintage. So this one here is uh, extremely rare in mint condition. And of course, being a low date, this is the key date for the series. Uh, as far as the grade, you know, 62 is fine, but I thought it would get at least a 63 in my opinion. But like I said, everybody has their opinion. Uh, and of course, uh, at this particular grade, uh, it should sell pretty well. If this was raw, I probably would get probably less money since everybody would try to grade it at a 60 uh, or a 61. In this case, it come in at, at 62. So that puts a premium on the coin. And of course, uh, allows uh, peace of mind for the buyer that, they're, no, that they're, they're knowing that they're getting a nice certified coin in a nice grade. This one here has a very nice surface, very nice overall. So a very nice rare key date. On the reverse, also the same thing. Very nice uh, canoe. Very nice strike. So this coin is highly desirable in this particular grade. Again, a rare key date that definitely will enhance somebody's collection if they collect Canadian silver dollar. And of course, this is the key date. So this one here uh, will price range on these coins could go from 1500 all the way up to currently I saw an MS65 sell uh, listed on eBay at above $15,000. So they will go pretty high. So if you can't afford the $15,000, uh, these in the two to 3,000 price range would be more than sufficient for your collection. Uh, the next coin we have is a nice Cabalito Peso. And of course, this is 1913. It got graded NGC 63. And of course, anything 63 or better is extremely difficult, especially in these coins. 
they're very detailed uh, easily bagged mark so normally you'll see them pretty ugly and so when you see a nice one in 63 or better definitely this uh, these coins will get a premium from buyers and this one here definitely would be some uh, a coin that would definitely be in highly in demand in this condition so this 63 grade definitely is a scarce date along with a grade um, now if this was raw uh, definitely you would probably not get as much money uh, because people would be unaware uh, as far as the actual grade since being graded by NGC third party guaranteeing it's a grade of 63 at least MS 63 definitely they will have a peace of mind that they know they're getting a nice coin that is a uh, really choice brilliant uncirculated coin on the reverse also very nice nice eagle uh, you can see the the snake fully defined uh, nice drumstick on the eagle's legs nice breast feathers on the eagle so definitely all these is contributing to a coin that is a nice high grade and uh, whoever uh, decides to add these coins this particular coin to their collection definitely will enhance their collection it's got scarcity appeal and of course the high demand on the coin definitely the three things that i always emphasize as a collector that you have is the nice appeal the scarcity and demand all three of those things is here for this particular coin and next coin we have is a south africa 1892 two shilling now this one here is also a very nice first year issue a very low mintage very hard coin to find in mint state uncirculated so this one here came in as an AU58. I was hoping to get at least a 60 or better, but it came in as a 58. So I guess I will be happy with that. And of course, the next collector at least will know that they have a coin that is very close to almost uncirculated. And this one here is pretty much free of any problems. So it has very nice appeal, uh, a no problem coin on the reverse same thing very nice detail on the, the reverse and of course it's not heavily toned it's lightly toned on the coin so this one here is also a key date first year of issue and a lot of these 1892 two shillings were heavy heavily circulated since this is a common coin used for the common usage at that particular time so all these minor coins were heavily used uh, circulated melted down so definitely as you get to a higher grade these coins get very difficult and the prices pretty much escalate as they go up from MS60 to 65. And some of these coins will cost upwards from 5,000 to 10,000, depending on how high the grade is. So this one here is a very nice coin. So if you can't afford the five or $10,000 coin, uh, the AU58 or MS60 is something that maybe you wanna consider adding to your collection that you can afford and build up and always trade up later on as you you know grow your investment uh, next coin we have is the german new guinea five mark 1894 now this is a very nice coin i mean this coin here is a very low population low mintage highly desirable many of these coins did see circulation so finding one in it almost uncirculated with very nice detail on the bird of paradise is getting very difficult. And these coins are very popular because of the, the design, the beauty of the coin. Uh, this one here is NGC AU detail, clean. But like I said, it is a very nice coin pretty much to me. It's almost uncirculated with no issues aside from it being cleaned lightly, it looks like. Uh, the reverse, I guess it's very nice very simple uh, five mark 1894 this coin is also a very low mintage coin so the desirable coin always highly in demand this one here is not toned in dark tone so the coin is very appealing 
in this particular condition. If this was probably an MS-65, then we're talking about maybe a fifteen to a $20,000 coin. So this one here is a coin that maybe you can afford and be able to upgrade later on, but at least uh, you can pick this coin up at a reasonable price. Uh, but this coin here will probably run you for, you know, a couple thousand dollars in this particular condition. Uh, cleaned, of course, this is cleaned, but it's very hard to tell. It is not heavily cleaned, in my opinion, but uh, it's there just for accuracy by NGC. The next one we got is from Lechtenstein, 1915. Five kroner. This is graded NGC 65. So this one here is a beauty. Uh, very desirable in this high, high grade. I think the population on this is pretty low. So this one here is a beautiful coin. Mintage on this particular coin is only about 10,000. And some of these coins did see circulation and melted down. So uh, you will not see very many in MS-65 grade. Okay, so this one here is a very desirable coin in this high grade. And of course, the reverse is a very nice five kroner with the shield, 1915, just below the shield. So this is a very nice coin, highly desirable in this high grade. So only a few of these coins you'll see. Try to get the best coin as possible as far as grading. And of course, these coins, uh, they started in uh, 1900 till 1924, and all of them are getting uh, highly in demand, and prices are moving up. So if you're able to collect the series, definitely something that maybe you want to consider, and they will continue to increase in value. So pick them up as soon as you can, uh, 1900 to 1924, all very nice popular coin from this small country, Lechtenstein. Very nice silver coin, nice addition to your collection. Oh, next one we have is a very nice coin from Great Britain. Uh, this is 191821 Crown Segundo. Unk detail, clean. Yeah, majority of these coins, you can, you know, being such an old coin, Normally, it, it'll go through some type of handling or a little bit of light cleaning. And this is normal for the majority of them. But as you get into really high grades where they're uncleaned, brilliant, uncirculated, then, they're ta then we're talking about maybe fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 coin. So at least if this one here is a unk detail and has some cleaning on there, which is very uh, not as highly evident on the coin, this one here is a very nice high grade coin with nice detail. If you look at the head of uh, this, of uh, George the Fourth, definitely lots of detail on this particular coin. So this is something that maybe you wanna uh, acquire if you have the funds. Uh, so get close to uncirculated as possible. Even though this is unclean, this will still sell uh, probably are between, you know, 1500 to 2500 in this very nice high grade condition. On the reverse, there, King George slaying the dragon, 1821, nice detail, exceptionally clean of any bag marks. So very nice appealing coin, highly desirable for this high grade. I uh, wish the cleaning wasn't there. But if there's evidence of light cleaning, definitely NGC should indicate that. So uh, they will guarantee their grading. And of course, they want to be really conservative, especially on these high-end coins. Like I said, if they do tend to overgrade uh, and then the coin is resubmitted for grading and it does come back for a lower grade, definitely they guarantee uh, the, the grading from the previous grade. So this would cost them money, so they want to avoid any of overgrading as possible. So they get to be very tight on these rare coins. The next one we have 
is a coin from Zanzibar. Very rare, small uh, country. And this is the Real 1882 Zanzibar. They grade this as an AU58. It looks like a very nice original uncirculated coin, but they have, uh, I guess, noted some slight wear on the high points of this particular coin. So uh, they're looking to grade this as an AU53. But to me, like I said, it's very close. It is a nice original coin. It has not been cleaned, which is nice. That makes it a plus. And of course, I think just the slightest uh, touch on the highest point of the coin, as you can see on the video. On the reverse, also a very nice coin. Again, a very nice detail. All the, all the uh, letters on this particular coin does stick out, so none are flat. So that indicates that there is no significant wear on the coin. Again, this is a one-year type coin from Zanzibar. This is one of the more popular coin of Zanzibar. It has a very low mintage. And of course, these coins can run from you know, a couple of thousand to 5,000, depending on the condition of the coin, especially if they are uh, certified because many of these coins sometimes are copied, are counterfeits. So be aware of those issues. So if you do find a coin that is raw, uh, be sure to get it certified. So you are you have peace of mind that the coin is real. Again, a very nice coin, highly in demand, low mintage, low population, very appealing condition. A very good addition to your world coin collection. The next one we have is a coin from Comoros Island. This one here is an extremely popular coin. As a mentioned, maybe a couple of thousand coins. This one here has a very nice design of weaponry on the others. And of course, being a low mintage, extremely difficult to find in high grade. And this is a very nice original. And they are conservatively grading this AU58, just to be safe because, you know, People can tend to like it. So just to me, this is a premium coin. Nice, even toning throughout. No distracting uh, issues with it. Highly in demand in this particular condition. Now that it is being certified uh, and it is a genuine coin, definitely the next buyer will be happy to acquire this particular coin. On the reverse, again, very nice. Nice, even toning throughout. So the others and reverse are both of the same color. And of course, very nice detail. Lots of writing on the coin. Uh, nice wreaths, nice flags. So a lot of detail on this particular coin. Highly desirable. This is one of the more popular coins of world coins. So definitely, this one here definitely will enhance your collection as you collect coins from around the world. Now the last coin we have, definitely this one here is a rare coin. This is from Guatemala. This is the one Quetzal. This one here looks very nice, certified by NGC VF35. So to me, uh, this is definitely a very conservative grading as a VF35, because to me, it looks like it's a nice extra fine condition, but uh, NGC decided to give it a VF35. But I guess, as you are aware, you are buying the coin and not the holder. So if you're familiar with the coin and the characteristics of the coin and the strike of the coin, you will know if the coin is overgraded, undergraded, okay? You are buying the coin and not the holder. So even though it says VF35, other may have a different opinion as either having a lower grade or a higher grade, okay? But if you're familiar with the coin, definitely this is one of the rare coins from Guatemala, highly desirable, always sought after. And of course, many of these coins are counterfeited. So this one here is genuine. So for your peace of mind, it is certified by NGC. So you'll be happy to know that the coin is 
real. On the reverse, again, a lot of detail on this coin. So to me, a VF35 is extremely a, a, a low grade. Again, this is my opinion. I mean, the detail on the coin is very nice. And to me, it should be at least a 45, okay, or even a little bit better. But this is a very nice coin, highly desirable, no problem coin. Uh, so this definitely will enhance your collection. Many of these coins were melted because of their large silver. Okay, these are large, heavy coins. So, uh, and then of course, these coins are rarely seen on the market. So when you see these coins, definitely something that maybe you want to consider adding to your collection. Again, a very nice coin, 1925 Guatemala, one Quetzal, highly desirable. Definitely, in my opinion, undergraded, very conservatively graded as VF35. I think, to me, this is an extra fine coin, but everybody has their opinion as to how they grade their coins. So this is the 10 coins we got today. A lot of coins, at least they were all, they, they were all genuine, which is nice to see. They're all certified. Some were cleaned, uh, not too heavily cleaned. Some didn't grade the, the uncirculated that I was looking for. Some got a nice grade as MS-65. But uh, these are the things that you will, you know, will get when you find out what your results are when you receive a box from NGC. But these are all very nice, highly in demand coins. Uh, definitely something that maybe you want to consider adding to your collection. So we have here a nice Quetzal from Guatemala. Graded VF35, in my opinion, very, uh, uh, it should have been maybe graded a little bit higher, but again, that is my opinion. Next one we have is, of course, from uh, Germany, New Guinea. It's a rare five mark and is uh, Bear to Paradise. Very popular coin, highly sought after, definitely one that if you are a world coin collector this is one of the coins that you want to acquire definitely a beautiful coin ireland mule 1961 very hard to get an ms60 or better uh mintage of this 50,000 coins minted most of them heavily circulated you'll see many of these coins in xf vf condition so finding one in MS-60 or better is extremely rare and highly desirable. Definitely a premium coin that you can always add to your collection if you collect coins that are a variety like this Error Mule. Lexchange 9, 5 Mark 1915. Very high grade MS-65. So this one here graded very nicely. Full luster, full strike. Reverse is very nice. So this is a very nice premium coin, highly desirable. It has a nice ser series from 1900 to 1924. Definitely a coin series that maybe you want to consider collecting if you are a coin, if you are a world coin collector. Canada, always a very popular date, 1948, the key date for Canada. Definitely everybody's uh, is sought after coin with a low mintage of around 18,000 coins. Uh, some of these coins are going for heavy money, especially in high-grade 65. So if you come across a nice one that you can afford, definitely consider it adding it to your collection. Great Britain, 1821 Secundo, Unc Detail. Very popular coin, very nice detail on George IV's head. Definitely always highly desirable, always in heavy demand, especially on these early dates. Hard to find in very nice high grade as this. Normally, you will see these in VF XF condition. Very ugly. Uh, so this one here is a very nice premium coin. And of course, the reverse with King George uh, slaying the dragon. Definitely something that maybe you want to think about adding to your collection if you're able to uh, afford it. And of course, a good series to add to your collection. Camorra's Island, very popular. So if you're a world coin collector, this is one of the coins that you must have. 
This is one of the better coins, is the Comoros Island uh, coin, uh, five franc. Popular coin because of its design. And it's, of course, it's very low mintage. Highly desirable. Definitely something that maybe you wanna add to your collection. If you, co if you collect coins of the world, this will be a nice enhancement to your collection. Uh, Zanzibar, the last country with the Z, definitely a very nice coin, high grade, uh, rarely rarely seen in this high. Many of these coins are counterfeited, so be careful. So this one here being certified, which is nice, and of course, all the letterings are always high and not flat, so which is very nice. So you are having a nice premium coin with pretty much nicely struck detail. So this is something that maybe you want to add to your collection. This is the only coin that to me is the Z, the last coin. And of course, always very difficult coin to locate due to its very low supply. <coughs> South Africa, 1892, two shillings. Uh, NGC AU58, now very low mintage, first year of issue. Again, the 1892 dates are extremely rare since this was the first issue that was struck in South Africa. Of course, making this coin very hard since the, the first issue has low mintages. And so the mintage of these are very low and most of them got circulated, melted down. So leaving only a very few handful in this particular high grade. Definitely something that you wanna consider adding to your collection if you are a collector of South African coins. And last one, we have the Cabalito Peso, Mexico, 1913. This is a very nice series from 1910, 1914. Popular set, uh, if you want to collect, 1914 is the rarest. Then it goes to 1912, and they are asking big premiums now for these coins, especially in high grades. These are very popular coins with collectors, highly desirable, especially in mint state or condition. And of course, if these were 65, they are going for a couple of grand. So if you are coming across these coins, definitely something that maybe you will consider adding to your collection. <coughs> well, there you go. You got 10 coins that came in from NGC. Uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, didn't grade what I expected, but you know, a lot, some of them did get more than what I was looking for. But the point here is that the coins were graded. The coins were certified by third party. The coin is all genuine uh, they are all encapsulated so they will be preserved as long as they're in the encapsulation uh, when it's time for you to sell it's good to sell it while they're in their holders and so definitely these coins while they're in their holders they will give you at least peace of mind that you know people will have their own judgment as far as grading these coins but you know Third-party grading at least allows you to know that they are either within the range of what you think the coin is, and the coin is guaranteed genuine by NGC. <coughs> so um, if you are trying to get coins certified, right, and these are high-value coins, NGC or PCGS are probably uh, the best place to send your coins, okay? Uh, they will guarantee the grading. They will grant guarantee that it is genuine. Uh, you will have to pay, uh, I think it cost me $38 per coin. I mean, uh, a few years back, it used to cost only like $27, but now they're up to $38 per coin. And of course, uh, normally uh, the walk-in uh, type normally takes two to three weeks. Now it's taken about two months. So uh, you have to think about the time frame and the cost for these coins. So if they are high value coins, you know, think about, <coughs> excuse me, think about sending them to NGC or PCGS to get graded. Uh, if they're not very high value, then maybe think about going to ANAC or ICG. I will be uh, sending some coins to ICG. And, uh, and of course, once I go through that video, I'll tell you why I'm doing that okay and the benefits of doing that so you have benefits sending coins to ngc and pcgs and you have benefits sending coins to icg or amac okay so uh, mm -hmm. uh watch out for my next video on when i send coins to icg well hopefully this information helps you out 
And of course, uh, you enjoyed the 10 coins that I have shown you that came back from NGC. Uh, they all are fully certified. They all are genuine coins. They all are, they have been graded. They all have their, you know, their description as either cleaned. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. So they are pretty much precise uh, on what they need to say on those coins. So as a potential buyer, you are aware of those things, okay? So you are not, uh, you know, uh, not being given the information up front. You will have the information up front on the label of those coins. Um, but again, as you buy these coins, you are buying the coin, not the holder. If you know the coin specifically and you know how to grade those coins, Sometimes uh, you have the benefit of knowing that the coin is either overgraded or undergraded. So again, you have to be careful on how you buy coins. Buy the coin, not the holder. The coin at least, the holder at least will tell you that the coin is genuine. The grading is something that you have to be familiar with, okay? Either you know how to grade or you don't know how to grade, or you're gonna take what NGC or PCGS indicates on the label. Well, hopefully this information is helpful. And if you like the information and you like the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming out shortly since I've got these coins back and I've got more coins to show in the near future. Plus, I will be showing some coins that I will be sending to ICG and get their grading uh, opinions on some of the coins that I'm sending to them. Uh, Till next time, you have a great day.